time to put up the signs and make a little cash. Yep, it's yard sale season. But before you clean out your garage, Nicole has a step-by-step -step guide to throwing a profitable yard sale and help you do your part for the environment. Usually I'm showing you where to spend your money, but today I'm going to show you how to make some money at a garage sale. They can usually be very time consuming, but they can also be profitable. How? I'll show you. We're open for business. Just kidding, they're fake. And they're dirty. First things first is to clean all of your items, because obviously they're going to sell better if they look presentable. And then after that, you have to price everything. Don't skip this step because it's going to cut down on negotiation. They make labels right in the regular grocery store that you could just pick up. Or you get these kind in like an office supply. For bigger ticket items, those are nice. You could just tape them right to your items. And if you don't know what to price your garage sale items at, 15% of what you paid retail is usually the standard. Now when it comes to sets, there's two ways of thought. These coasters, there's four of them. I don't want to get stuck with just one, so I've tied them up. It's 50 cents for all four. But these candle holders are a dollar each, and if I was stuck with just one, it wouldn't be that big a deal. So I've priced them individually. It'd be $2 for the pair, and they'll probably ask if I'll take a dollar fifty, and of course they will, and you should too. to bring your merchandise outside. Try to bring your furniture as close to the street as possible. It's the one thing that drive-by buyers are really looking for because of the high retail prices of furniture. And then organize your items. These boxes are available at any moving supply store and they're perfect for garage sales. We did kids on this side, adults on this side, and everything is hung up so buyers don't have to wonder what it is. The burden of proof that things work is your responsibility, so plan to have some power at your next sale. That way people can test out items. Also have some batteries for the handheld devices. Now you don't want people in your home, so don't offer to let them test anything inside. Just drag out an extension cord. Also make it very clear where the sale ends, so you have no stragglers back there where they don't belong. Can I get some lemonade for 25 cents? Why, yes you can. <laughs> If you have kids in your family, it's good to give them a job so they're not under your feet. It's also hard for drivers to drive by a cute little kid selling lemonade. Thank you very much. And if you have kids coming with parents to your garage sale, it's good to put the We One merchandise in the back of the sale and low. One, you want it low because you want them to get attached to it, and they can't do that if they can't see it. And you want to put it all the way back in the sale so parents don't have to worry about their kids in the traffic. Happy parents spend more money. Well, garage sales can be a great way to recycle, reuse, and reduce, and it can afford you new funds to go shopping. For Better TV, I'm Nicole Camerata, wishing you happy garage sailing. And one more tip before you put up those signs and pull out your goods, find out if you have to apply for a permit to have a yard sale in your area. This has been Better.TV. For more stories like the one you just saw, catch the weekday television program Better, your source for styles, trends, relationships, beauty, fitness, and other stories that will help make your day better. Check local TV listings to see if Better airs in your city. Thanks for watching.